Asmongold getting alpha access a peaceful round is Ashes of Creation. Oh, Piece he was bullshit. pissed, dude. He was? Yeah, he was upset because uh, that guy just randomly showed up in your chat and gave you that beta uh, alpha. So they actually know. Oh, yeah, this is whenever I was playing the game. Or right, listen, uh, guys. I, I watched the video. We love WoW. He said, this is Steven. I'm watching your stream. Thank you, Steven. Okay. If you want to... Uh, it's a good picture. We, no, we are willing. Not. I think a lot of people in my community would be interested in seeing a new MMO. And so if you guys do an alpha and you want to give me a key and uh, give me and some of my, uh, my audience a key, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and do giveaways and uh, give them an opportunity to try and play out the game, see what it's like. Yeah. And uh, give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, I, I will... He said, we'll hook you up, no worries. All right, he put a triple dot. This okay, means he's not happy. so this video I'm recording is kind of a rant in a way. I don't usually do these. Uh, I definitely don't usually <laughs> face on camera because I'm, yeah. Um, but I am trying a new, uh, a new thing. So anyway, so the video I played at the beginning, that's, uh, Asmongold, Asmongold, I can't even say his name. I always, I always butcher it. Anyway, so really during that, that during that live stream he was doing for uh, is it really Ash's that hard creation, of a name to say? Uh, Stephen actually popped into his chat and was like, "Hey, I'm going to give you Alpha Key and uh, Alpha One Key at that." So there's a lot of people upset right now. In he never said community. Alpha One, and some who may not be upset and might see this as a good thing. I don't even know uh, what that is. I'm here to just give my reaction to this um as a community uh an avid community member and a very loyal community member so i want to say that it is kind of a slap in the face to the creators who i really disagree with this on the fundamental basis that i don't think that consumeristic loyalty is a positive trait um i i, I don't think that consumeristic loyalty creates good content it doesn't create a good product uh having somebody that just eats the same shit and will just never criticize or complain about what you have it, it that's that's not breed uh, a quality game it's not make a quality game so regardless of how loyal somebody is or is not that doesn't necessarily mean that they want the game to fail at the point where you're willing to forsake your own values and just say that you're loyal to a game without seeing something that deserves your loyalty does not necessarily mean that you're in any say in any way more deserving or more righteous than somebody who doesn't i i disagree with that entirely have been it's like a philosophical day basis. One and who might not have access to the alpha to test it uh and their communities matter i want to i want to make that very clear if you're a small streamer or small youtuber whatever and you do content for ashes of creation your community matters like their voices your voices they all matter um and it, it's it's well nobody's saying they don't matter all community yeah all communities matter you're right but like if you have like a really big community of people and you can give one person access or like a handful of people access from that community there are people that clearly love mmos like we want this game to be good just as much as you do we, we want this game to be good like this this is like I, I want it to be a fun game to play because then that'll give me more things to do on my stream and it'll just be enjoyable like i i yeah, I mean, there's no like. He he does address some counter arguments in the comments. Okay. But, yeah. Kind of shameful that a company will go after these bigger streamers to pull in more numbers and overshadow the people who are loyal to the brand. Uh, it doesn't have to be a zero sum environment. Like. It, it, it's, it does not have to be zero sum. Um, like th there's no there's no reason for for that to be the case. Uh, like I I don't understand why this is even a thing. Uh, I I really don't I don't get it at all, because there's no. 
and it's like also like of course it matters the scale like if you're going to give it to somebody that has four viewers you're going to have a uh, a smaller return on your investment than if you give it to somebody that has like 3,000 viewers and 30,000 viewers and 300,000 viewers like of, of course this is a matter of, of return uh, it's marketing I, I don't agree with it but again it's not my game and whatever marketing uh is thinking if there was even any thinking and marketing with this uh it was horrible <laughs> it was horrible advice uh one because you're giving access to someone who barely follows your game uh exactly exactly whenever the game comes out you're gonna have that game be exposed to all of these people that are completely new they don't have information either so my experience as a neutral person who has minimal understanding of the game is extremely valuable and in fact in a lot of ways more valuable than somebody who's played it ever since the you know the very beginning because True. you want to make sure that those people are able to understand and enjoy the game and if the only people that you have that are enjoying the game have been playing the game ever since, you know, the super before alpha alpha, you're not really going to open the game up to be successful. And MMO lives and dies on its community. And if you keep gatekeeping the community for all of these different things, of, oh, well, he, sh you know, there's this thing and that thing he hasn't liked it enough. Like I've watched videos about this game for over a year. Like, how much investment, like, what is the barrier to entry here that I'm not meeting? Like, I, I promoted the game to thousands of people. I've said, at the beginning, I said it was garbage. And later on, I thought it got better, and I said it got better. And now I've said that I'm excited to play it. I've been completely fair. And I've, I, I've earned my right to have this game, have alpha for the game, as much as I think almost anybody else. Fuck, dude. Like, I hope it, it's good. Yeah, I, I, of I course. hope it's good so bad. Of course, we all do. We all want it to be good. <laughs> I'm so sick of WoW. Please let this be a good game. Please, God. Who probably knows very little about it. And will... Exactly. Uh, will they bring in new people? Yes, they'll probably bring in new people. But will they be a significant number? Probably not. Um... As we saw with the Battle Royale, we had some bigger streamers come in, but it couldn't People save... don't give a shit about a Battle Royale. Like, here's the thing. Like, yeah, let's say one in a hundred people try the game out. That's like 400 or something like that people that are going to try the game. Like, you, you want to have people come in and try the game. Like, BR loyalty to MMO loyalty, yeah. I mean, like, people want people want to play Ashes of Creation the MMO, not Ashes of Creation the BR. It's just, it's just the nature of it. I don't remember, like, what all the nuance was to that. If it was free to play, if people were able to access it, or streamers were only able to play it. I, I don't remember what it was. So I can't really speak to that. But I do know that, like, there's a reason why all of these companies pay uh, millions of dollars. Like... Uh, Shroud and Ninja got paid millions of dollars in order to play Apex because it was so popular and it was such a big deal. And I, I feel like that's obviously what the uh, what what the case is here as well. Uh, and like you see, like Fortnite, for example, I remember whenever Doc and Tim and all the guys uh, got a, a ton of attention, uh, and they they all got sponsored to play Fortnite at the same time. Like viral, like viral, what they like to call influencer marketing is a codified strategy that almost every game development studio do, does now because it works. It works. You want to have your game be put in front of somebody who is a neutral party for the most part and give them the opportunity to show that game to their to their viewers. Like, I, I don't know, man. Our big streamers made Apex a thing. Yeah, it, it's very important. That, that's why that's why these companies pay millions of dollars for it. Your battle royale it's because it works. Your battle royale was, a, uh, I want to say, at least consecutive <laughs> ten consecutive players every day, and sometimes three consecutive players per day, and that was with the exposure from bigger streamers. So, I mean, 
I remember the only streamer I remember playing it was Shroud. And Shroud doesn't have an audience that's endemic to MMOs to begin with. Like, Shroud's an FPS player, fundamentally. Like, Shroud has a huge audience of people, and some of the people that watch him watch him because they want to see him play WoW or whatever, or there's an overlap. But you can't compare, like, somebody who goes and plays FPSs for a living to go and play another genre of games and then expect the audience of that person to continuously stick with the game. It, it's just too many, too many abstract variables. It, it's just not going to happen. It's a, it's, it's pretty much just a, um, just a marketing gimmick, and yeah. um, I hope it doesn't backfire, honestly, because you're gonna be exposing your game to thousands of people who think that this is a finished product, and nobody thinks that. Nobody thinks that. What do you mean? Like we never said that. Like. Yeah, I, 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 like some people think that and they're dumb. You're right. But there are many people who don't think that. People know it's alpha. The reason why people are overly critical in alpha is because they know that it will change. That's actually the fundamental reason for why people are critical in alpha and beta stages of games is because that's whenever they're most, uh, most able to change. Those thousands of people are going to tell tens if hundreds more people that your game is crap because they experienced it in a alpha state uh, and most i don't know about that i mean like that that's very presumptuous don't you think i mean that that should be that that's very very presumptuous i i, I don't agree with that at all uh i i yeah, I mean, obviously, there are going to be some people that are going to watch the game and they're going to think to themselves, ah, you know what? I don't like this game very much. I, I think it's stupid. And that's fine. Like, for example, like uh, if I went and I played PoE, there's going to be a lot of people who are like, PoE sucks. I don't like PoE. I just want to watch WoW. And then vice versa. If I go and play PoE, there are going to be people that come in from my stream and think to themselves, oh, thank God he's actually playing a good game now and not that shitty WoW. You know, thank God he's not addicted anymore. Like, this is just, it's the nature of how these things go. Most people, most players now, when they think of an alpha, yeah, they think of, you know, a product that's about to launch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it just makes me think of PUBG. <laughs> and the only reason they took PUBG out of the beta early access alpha uh. thing or whatever the only reason they did that was just so they could sell it for Christmas. Like, it wasn't ready to go out. It wasn't ready to be released. They just released it anyway for Christmas. Like, people know the game is early access. That's why the meme early access, by the way, exists. People know that. Like, Shadowlands is the same thing. And, and like also people can still judge certain things based off of the alpha like a fundamental of like a fundamental philosophical decision that the game has like on a core level like covenants for example in shadowlands people can criticize that the moment that it's announced because they know the philosophy behind it is flawed and not necessarily what the players would want to see and i, I think that's really what the uh what the difference is so yeah <sighs> I honestly hope it doesn't backfire, but one thing I would like to bring up is if you're going to put your foot, put yourself out there and give out these Alpha 1 keys to big streamers, uh, make it a play test of big streamers and smaller streamers from your own community. Bring them together so that way there are uh, different voices different opinions and different views different perspectives uh and not just one person it's true like obviously it should be everybody should be able to get an accent right i mean access right but it it makes logical and logistical sense for 
uh, again, if they have a limited access of alpha keys that they feel like would be healthy for the game to have, they're like, okay, well, we have this server and the server is designed for having, let's say, 100 people on it. Well, then they're going to give out probably like maybe 120 or 150 keys because they don't want to overpopulate the server and, and have a weird experience for people because it's not going to be representative of what the actual game is. So it would make sense for them to prioritize people that are going to have larger audiences, but you're absolutely right. I mean, of course there needs to be a number of people that that have like a, uh, a, a different perspective. It doesn't really matter about like the audience size as much as the perspective. Perspective. Uh, I don't think it would be really healthy for Ashes at this point to have only one big streamer's voice uh, being put out there to the masses. Sure. So that would be my suggestion to Steven and the team is to invite your smaller content creators who don't have access to A1, uh, come out and test it with these bigger streamers. Uh, sure. Obviously it would be under NDA, uh, visual NDA, um, but at least they could talk about it amongst their communities because again their communities matter their voices matter and well, so i mine. think it would be an awesome thing for uh camaraderie yeah. within the content creator community um not only f from ashes community creators but throughout the youtube streamer community as well bringing those together bringing them together and maybe sharing ideas amongst their communities as well yeah of course so that's just my little rant and i wanted to make this video really short and sweet so let me know what your comments let me know um what you guys think in the comments section or just on the forums in general and okay. um yeah i'll see you in the next one uh I think everybody's like opinion matters, but I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Yeah, giving popular streamers alpha keys and uh, you know access to new games is a marketing strategy, and it works really well. There, like almost every every game development studio does this now, and I feel like in the same way that smaller communities, uh, smaller streamers communities matter, I think larger community streamers matter. Uh, like that's really what it is and I, I don't I, I don't like the gatekeeping of this at all I, I feel like I feel like if anything I've, I've earned my right to have an alpha for this game I'm an MMO player I've been an MMO player for uh, you know over 15 years now I played Black Desert uh, I played a couple of other of the shitty MMOs like very briefly and I played WoW forever and WoW is the most successful MMO like it, it is and I think that like having that perspective of somebody who's played a game like WoW for so long and I know a lot about the game and coming into a new game and seeing what the differences are I think that does create value it, it does matter a lot and I, I don't understand it at all uh, Square Enix says to yeah I, I'm more than qualified enough to talk about this the idea that I don't have the right to an opinion I think is ridiculous